Hey shooters, Tim O'Connor here with 1791 Gun Leather. Let's talk again about breaking in the holster uh, for a pistol. So, thing to think about when you're talk about talking about leather, this is a natural material and it's handmade. And so it's not expected to fit perfectly uh, right out of the box. The idea is that it's gonna fit a little bit tight and we're gonna break it into the pistol so we get that perfect fit by breaking it in. Uh, so I have a pistol here, brand new holster and it's pretty tight. I can't get it all the way in without actually pushing it into the holster. That's okay, we can make that work. Uh, it can be even actually a lot tighter than this. We can still make it work. Uh, in order to get this to fit, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, put it in a plastic bag. Actually, this is a little bit of a hard case. So I'm gonna double bag it, and this is a heavier plastic bag than a regular Ziploc. All right. I'm gonna wrap that around the pistol. That's gonna increase the volume of the pistol slightly. I'm gonna slide it in about halfway. I'm actually gonna take a couple pieces of cardboard and slide it in back behind that pistol. And that's gonna stretch that leather out even more. Now, in order to get it all the way in there, I'm gonna push down hard, get it all the way in there nice and tight. Now, um, you know, some people tell you you can leave this for four hours, five hours, you know, just a little bit of time. I'm going to leave it overnight. Let's come back tomorrow and uh, see how well it fits. Okay, shooter. So yesterday we were talking about holster break-in. We have a brand new holster here and we're utilizing the, uh, way, the suggested method by uh, 1791, wrapping it in plastic bags. Let's see where we got to. All right, my couple of pieces of cardboard there. I had two heavy plastic bags. Let's see how it fits. Yeah. Now, this is a pretty tight holster, so I put it in a couple extra sleeves, uh, slices of cardboard in there in order to give it a little more expansion. Now, it feels as if there's no retention at all. And uh, sometimes people get to this point and they'll get a little bit worried. But you've got to remember that this is not the retention of the holster. This is the retention of the holster without it being on the belt. So let's get it on the belt and see how do we, how we do. Good deal. Yeah, see, you know, that's much better. That retention level is just about right. It's just, just about perfect. Yeah, so 24 hours, a couple of plastic bags, and a little bit of cardboard, and that was for a really tight holster. Uh, if we had a holster that was even tighter than that, we could still make it work. We just need to either use heavier plastic bags, cardboard, anything like that to get it to stretch out. You might even want to leave it longer, but you shouldn't have to. 24 hours should be plenty of time and get that perfect retention. But just remember that once you've got that all done, don't test the retention until you get it on your belt and try it out that way. So for tips like this and more, visit us at 1791gunleather.com.